Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on estimating products. This is lesson 3-2 in the, in the textbooks that we're following here. So our common core strand is, um, is right there. We're going to use place value understanding to perform multi-digit arithmetic. So our essential question is uh, what strategies can we use to estimate products? So we'll go over a few strategies in here and hopefully we'll get good at this after this. So uh, first let's place 43 on the number line. Okay, well here's 40, here's 50, so 41, 42, 43. So I'm going to put a red dot right there. Okay, so there's 43 right there. And then so is 43, is it closer to 40 or 50? Well, hopefully you guys can recognize it's definitely closer to 40 right there. So if we rounded 43 to the nearest 10, it becomes 40 right there. Okay, 44, where is that closer to? Well, it's also closer to 40. 44 would round to the 40 also if we rounded it to the nearest 10. If we went to 45 right there in the middle right there, it always rounds up, so it would round up to 50. And the same goes, you know, right here. If I did 35, it would round up to 40. All right, and so 35 and above would round up to 40, and 34 and below would round down to 30. The same goes for 20s and the 10s and the teens and stuff, okay? So um, uh, let's try one of these, you guys. So the Montoya family opens their front door 32 times in one day. There are 31 days in July. About how many times is it opened in July? Okay, well, this is an estimating problem because it's saying right here, about how many so it didn't say find an exact answer so about how many so one way is we're going to use rounded numbers in mental math okay so what we're going to do first is uh, uh, round uh, both 32 and 31 to the nearest 10 okay so these would both round to 30 and 30 okay so and then so if we multiplied 3 times 3 well everybody knows 3 times 3 is 9 so 30 times 30 is going to be 9 with these two zeros right here so it's going to be 900 right there okay so the Montoya family opens their front door about 900 times during the month of July all right will the actual number of times of uh, the front door is open be greater than or less than 900 well since uh, we started with 32 and 31, and both those numbers are greater than 30, then the actual number will be greater than whatever, uh, well, than 900, 30, uh, 30 times 30. Because these two numbers are greater, so I know it's going to be greater than the product of these two numbers right here. Okay? Um, uh, let's say on average a front door in this neighborhood is opened 38 times each day. About how many fewer times in July is the Montoya's family door opened than the average family? Okay, well, but if we rounded 38 to the nearest tens, it would round to 40, and then 31 days, still in July, so 31 uh, rounds to 30, then we multiply 40 times 30. Okay, 4 times 3 is 10, or I'm sorry, 12, sorry. And then so it's going to be 12 with these two zeros right here. So here's my 12 with two zeros, which is 1,200 or 1200 if you want to say that so by subtracting 1200 minus 900 we have 300 so so there's about 300 fewer times Montoya uh, opens their front door than the, than the average family in the neighborhood All right, let's try another problem here here we're going to use mental math with some friendly numbers I like to call on you guys so the Smith family raises chickens to sell eggs each egg weighs about 58 grams if they sell eggs in packages of 24 eggs about how much does each package weigh? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is is round 24 to 25 because, you know, a friendly number is 25 because I think a 25 is like a quarter, you know, 25 cents is a quarter. Okay, and we'll round 58 to 60. So what we can do is um, uh, multiply 25 times 60. Okay, and then 25 times 6 we can think of, you guys, uh, put, uh, multiply 25 times 6 and then add the 0 at the end. So whatever 25 times 6 is and add the 0. Well, I know that uh, 1 quarter is 25 cents, so if I put 6 quarters together, remember 4 quarters is a dollar or 100 cents, and then 2 more quarters is 50 more cents, so I have 100 cents plus 50 cents, so I'll, I put a dollar 50 right here, but you can think of it as uh, uh, 150 right there. So if 25 times 6 is 150, okay, let me shrink this problem up right here. Well, if 25 times 6 is 150, then 25 times 60 is going to be 150 with the extra zero right there, okay? You see how I'm doing this? So each package of 24 eggs uh, will weigh about uh, 1,500 grams. Okay, that's pretty slick, huh? Nice friendly numbers using quarters right there. Okay, let's try this. Let's uh, uh, use the estimate of 26 times 89. 
All right, well, what I'm going to do, on, uh, round to the nearest 10, well, this rounds to uh, 30 right here, okay, and this guy rounds to 90 right here, and then the, as for the friendly numbers right here, I'm going to round this guy to 25 again, and then round this up to 90 right there, okay, and I'll, do, I'll think of the quarter thing right there. All right, let's do this guy first right here. 3 times 9 is 27, so 27 with these two zeros is going to be 27 with two zeros, or 2,700 right there. Okay, so one way we can, one estimate is uh, to, uh, 26 times 89 is going to be about 2,700 right there. Okay, do you think it's going to be less or more? Well, since 30 is greater than 26 and 90 is greater than 89, then this product is going to be a little bit more than what the actual answer is right there. All right, but it did say estimate, so that's a good estimate right there. So we're going to use friendly numbers here. Okay, 25 times 90. Well, we'll first do 25 times 9, you guys, and then add a zero. Okay, remember, here's like four quarters. 25 times 4 is a dollar. Another 25 times 4 is a dollar. And then 25 times 1 is 25 cents. And then here's my 9 right here if I added those up. So 25 times 9 is 100 plus 100 plus 25 is 225. Okay, so then 25 times 90 is 225 with a zero. Okay, so another estimate is 26 times 89 is about $2,250. Okay, so um, uh, explain why uh, 2,700 or 2,700 and 2,250 are both reasonable estimates. Well, both of these estimates are products from numbers that are close to the original factors. So they would have to be a reasonable estimate right there. Okay. All right, this one's probably a, um, uh, a little bit less. It might be a little bit more, and this one is definitely a little bit more, but it's because we rounded, so since our rounded numbers are close enough, then those would be good answers right there. Okay, so in, in, which, uh, in what kind of situation might we choose to find an estimate rather than an exact answer? Okay, well, we might uh, use an estimate to decide how many snacks we need to bring for an after-school event, like some soccer game, you know, how they have have snacks, the parents bring snacks, so you'd have to estimate on that. But to find the exact answer, how much money is it going to have to cost or something? When you're talking about money, they usually want exact answers, okay? All right, I hope that lesson helps you guys, and take care.